What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Willie Westside here bringing you back with another video today and today is going to be a little more of a somber um, video. Uh, I'm just going to kind of talk freely to you and to the camera and kind of share my opinion on something that um, I found out recently, uh, very recently, I'm going to turn my phone on silent. Um, uh, in case you haven't know, um, don't know, uh, Dragon Ball Super is coming to an end. Um, and it is kind of expected. Uh, I've been wondering in the back of my mind, you know, how long is Dragon Ball Super really going to uh, get to go on for? You know, um, a lot of shows, uh, a lot of my favorite shows don't get more than uh, 24 episodes, especially anime. I mean, Dragon Ball's always been this, like, long, shonen, extended uh, show, but at some point it does have to come to an end. And, um, they did announce, uh, and there's been some confirmation, uh, the lead animator, I'll try and show his tweet in this video, um, but he did come out and say that yes, it is ending, unfortunately. Um, and I... I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, the current arc uh, is the Universal Survival arc, in case you don't know. Um, and we all know it's going to end up with the Goku versus Jiren fight. And personally, I just don't think it's a good note to end on. Um, unless they do something drastic with the ending of this arc, which would kind of come out of nowhere, I just don't see it as a fitting end to the series. I know we're getting the movie, but this is kind of where Dragon Ball ends. I mean, it's, for the anime perspective, this is where the Dragon Ball anime is going in, and I don't know that it's going to get a revival like it did last time. And I just... I'm not really happy with that. If it's a hiatus, which it probably will be, that's that's one thing. That's something... That makes sense. You know, we need a, a kind of a break, a little a little bit of a, um, you know, like a, a stall on this, because we've been barreling through Super for 120-something episodes. And this Universal Survival Arc should be like a hard reset, which would be really cool and I'd love to see you know a break in between this and that. I'd, I'd wait a year, two years or something for that because that would make sense to me but just to see it end after this it just doesn't make sense and maybe this is the fanboy in me talking. Um, in case you don't know I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. When Dragon Ball Super was first announced I freaked out. I was like so happy. I jumped around my room. It was crazy and to see it just kind of end and kind of end unceremoniously in my opinion in an arc that while I'm enjoying a lot of moments and I'm not in love with, uh, it's been really divisive actually among the community. I just, I'm not really satisfied with that. And that, that is kind of a negative, but I do want to say for those of you that are freaking out, that are worried, you know, Dragon Ball's over. It's not, it's not over. Um, 2018 is kind of the year of Dragon Ball. We've got fighters coming out. We've got another movie coming out. Who knows what's going to happen beyond this? Um, there's, and there's some odds that Tori Toro is going to continue the manga past what, where the anime ends. And it could be that Tori Toro continues the manga and then the anime picks back up. It could be that the anime is letting the dub catch up to where the sub is. I mean, we, they've simulcast uh, My Hero Academia in the first part of season two was going on, was dubbed the same time it was subbed in Japan. Maybe they'll switch to a more um, rigid uh, serial format, you know, where we have, you know, actual seasons of Dragon Ball, which would be kind of cool. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with it changing formats. I'd be okay with a break, but an ending to the series right now feels premature. I mean, we just crashed Crunchyroll for like the seventh time in this arc. It's just been, it's been an insane ride. Ultra Instinct Goku was an amazing reveal. The popularity is there. The support is there. I think right now Dragon Ball is doing better than it ever has been. I just, I would... I'm kind of recording this because I'm down right now and I want to share it with someone. But also, while I'm in a negative spot, I do want to say to anyone watching this that might see this and be upset that just because it's ending doesn't mean it's over. And Dragon Ball is all about breaking limits. That's why we watch the show, is to watch people break limits to become something better than they were before. And maybe Dragon Ball Super is doing that to itself. It's finding a way to break its own limits. Its limit of being an episodic format. Its limit of having good animation but not great animation. Um, that all, and maybe it transitions into a movie series. I mean, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F were great. Everyone enjoyed them. If you saw them in theaters, more power to you. I wanted to, but there was no theater around me playing and I was too young. But I mean, I mean, this could be something amazing coming. We could have a second Dragon Ball Renaissance, or 
maybe it takes a break for a while, and we've got the manga, which is fun to read. Even if Toy Tori does some crazy stuff, it's still fun. I just... While I was sad thinking about it, I actually feel better talking about it with you guys. And I... I have ridden this Dragon Ball ride for about as long as anyone. Um, I've ridden my basically my whole life, and I am willing to keep riding it, and I hope you guys all are too. So, uh, guys, if you're down, I'm sorry, and I've, uh, this video is kind of a downer, I apologize. I actually had a different video going up today, but I decided to make this instead. Um, but I just want to say, guys, from the bottom of my heart, I love you all. Um, I love all the Dragon Ball communities I'm in. I'm a huge Dragon Ball nerd, you know this, if you've been on the channel, especially this year, I've just been posting almost nothing but Dragon Ball content. Um, but, guys, I genuinely do appreciate all of you, and I hope everyone keeps their heads up high. Uh, I hope everyone thinks of this as a transition, not an ultimatum. But, guys, to end on a positive note, like we always say around here, um, I hope to see you around sometime.